Hello, welcome in this ERP SAP team YouTube channel. Hope you are doing fine. Today we are discussing a very important customizing transaction code and topic that is temporary advance. Temporary advance is a transaction is a advance which any employee is taken from company side for any specific work first you have to do the job complete the job then settle the temporary advance against bill received from the vendor okay for example if any power plant is not working and we need to immediate restoration for that power plant then we have to receive the temporary advance for the certain amount for example thousand rupees and we need to contract uh, a power plant repairing vendors to provide immediate service and restore the power plant after the restoration of the power plant vendor has submitted the bill to us and we need to settle that temporary advance with respect to those bills okay and if any amount is refunded we have to ref for example the we have taken the temporary advance of 1000 rupees and the vendor has given us the bill of 892 rupees then 108 rupees we have to refund to accounts department and accounts department will give us a refund document number that needs to be uh, required during time of the settlement okay so how can you get the data of a temporary advance settlement in a, your business area or in your uh, company okay this is the tra customized transaction code for our company and this is purely uh, just for understanding purpose just for concept purpose you, you should understand don't correlate these data with uh, any other things okay so the transaction code is zfi070 underscore all okay fi means financial uh, module that is fico module of sap zfi 070 underscore all is a customized transaction code for the temporary advanced settlement report okay if you know that personal number like hr number of the employee or the partner number of the employee you can fill here if you don't know then just remain blank uh, company code 1100 business area is 3002 in my case and i just want to get the data from uh, 1st of january 2019 to 31st january 2019 fine okay during this period we have settled the temporary advances i just want to get the data of those temporary advances okay i just going to execute click on the execute button see these are the temporary advances we have settled during such and such periods okay so you can get the all the data of uh, such periods okay for example uh, these are the expense amount and we just want to get the short okay So, uh, for example, this is the temporary advance request number, personal number, document number, company code, business area, refund amount, okay, claim submission date, claim submission time, claim officers, and who is uh, your internal financial advisor, approval, and all that. All the data is uh, available here, fine. All the data is available here, and we need to get the data of uh, those temporary advance. And these are the reason codes. We have multiple reason codes like uh, a small office expenditure, meeting expense, repair and maintenance of power plants, repair and maintenance of the computers. So different, different. These are the temporary advance settlement records. Okay, you can get the data uh, using this transaction code. For example, if I just want to get the uh, print out of any temporary advance. Then you can just click on this temporary advance request number just double click on this temporary advance request number and you just need to fill your business area 
and click on the execute option okay click on the execute option okay so uh, we have taken some temporary advance of different different amounts approved um, 20,000 is amount and uh, this is a uh, balance amount and uh, total expense is this no refund amount is uh, generated okay and uh, these are the different different accounting document number these are the different different vendors name okay and these are the invoices number uh, we have taken the temporary advance in the repair and maintenance of the cables stationary repair and maintenance of the cable these are the general laser accounts these are the amount we have expended okay cost center maintenance order number because once you settle the temporary advance num temporary advance in, in case of the repair and maintenance you need to fill the order number these are the cost centers these are the invoice number uh, that is provided by the vendor okay these are the adjacent codes which you need to submit during the settlement of the temporary advance depending on the nature of the services okay and uh, these are the final messages okay so um, you can uh, settle the temporary advance and submit and by submitting your remarks okay and there is a print option here okay there is a print option here you can get the list you can get the save here okay and uh, you need to click on this print option and system will give you the data of uh, output device you need to uh, choose the by default output device okay and you need to uncheck this delete after output okay uncheck the delete after output and you need to click on the print preview first okay if you need to print preview these are the bills and all details is available here okay and you need to click on again print options and uh, uncheck the delete after output and click on the print options okay system will give you set this type of the screen and you need to choose the appropriate printer or convert into pdf okay uh, you need to convert these data in the pdf options system will generate the output as per your requirement okay test here You need to wait for the while okay system will give you the temporary advance okay this is the temporary advance request number employee number temporary advance claim okay and uh, these are the different different temporary advances invoices and GL account and heads and uh, tax code different different okay so this is all about how can you print the temporary advance how can you know how many temporary advances settled uh, by your employee in last one month and last seven days and last three months or past quarters so hope you uh, think this is useful video for uh, your all the data shown is for the training and testing purpose okay don't correlate any data uh, with your uh, personal data or company data so please understand and if you are new on our youtube channel erp sap team please subscribe our youtube channel please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends because in respect of the temporary advance uh, there are so many queries received so you should understand these things okay okay so Hope you uh, like this SAP tutorial, okay? And uh, if you have any query in your mind, then reach us at ERP SAP team one at the red gmail.com. And uh, also you can mention your query in the comment section, okay? And uh, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.